What's going on guys? So in this video, we are going to be going over GPU light mass once again. Now I know I made a video about this about two days ago, but I didn't really explain what GPU light mass was about. So this video, I'm going to try and elaborate a little bit more on what it is and how to turn it on and pretty much what limitations this thing has. With that being said, if you didn't watch the previous video, uh, 4.26 preview was released about a month ago in September and it included a lot of good stuff that's in beta right now and one of those things is actually the GPU light mass all right now this is just a beta it's not an official release but you can download it and start you know messing around with it before the actual release and like I said what I was excited about one of the things I was like about was the GPU light mass because I did just get an RTX 3090 so I wanted to see how well it was gonna perform now just a disclaimer this version version of GPU light mass is very buggy. It's really bad, but then again, it is just beta, right? So what I'm going to do today is just show you what it is, why should we care about it, and kind of like give you a preview on what's about to come. Because as far as I know, Unreal Engine 5 will have something very similar, pretty much baking lighting using your GPU instead of your CPU. All right, that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Right now, in your Unreal Engine project, majority of your lights are probably static. What I mean by that is if I drop a light right now, on the top left corner of your screen, you're going to see something that lighting needs to be rebuilt. Every time you move a light, every time you move a static in a stationary light, you're going to have to rebuild your scene. So right now, if I were to build this scene, this is going to be using my CPU. All right, look at my CPU usage right here. It's at 2% right now, but wait until this is over. Here we go, building lighting, and this is gonna crank up to 98%, 3.4 gigahertz, and I think I have 16 cores. Yep, I have 16 cores, 32 threads, and that's running right now, okay? So I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm gonna bring that thing up. All right, you see that it's now building the lighting, and this usually takes a long time depending on your scene and lighting and all that stuff this can take up to an hour or so so that's where gpu light mass kind of comes into play now while i'm waiting for this to build i'm just going to talk about it a little bit there are obviously pros and cons pros it might be faster than a cpu but one of the cons right now is that it looks a little bit different than a CPU light mass. Uh, CPU light mass is slower, but it's well built, I guess. The way it bakes the light is well built and we're used to it. So the GPU light mass, you're gonna see, it's gonna look a little bit different. And another con when using the GPU light mass is some of the materials and textures are not supported. Okay, so I don't know what's supported in this scene, but I wanted to go ahead and give it a shot. So if I go to lit lighting only, you're going to see this is the lighting and you're going to see preview here because it's telling us we need to build the scene. That's why you see that preview. And the only way to get rid of that is by building the scene and waiting for this to go to 100%. So what I'm going to do now is just um, I'm going to pause the recording and I'm going to go back in here once this build lighting is complete all right all right so now you can see that it's the lights are baked the scene looks good but the problem is if we're to move one of these lights guess what you're gonna have to build it again all right so now what we're gonna do is start gpu light massing this okay so now what we're gonna do is make sure we have gpu light mass enabled and if you don't know how to do that, just follow along. Go ahead and go to plugins, built in GPU light mass. It's enabled. It's going to tell you to restart, but don't restart just yet. We're going to go to project settings. We're going to turn on ray tracing, which is already on. We're going to go to RHI, make sure that that's direct X12. And we're going to turn on virtual texture right here. Check this, check this and leave it at 128. If you want, close that out. Make sure you have a light mass importance volume, which it looks like it does. And I'm going to go outside of the scene just to make sure that it's covering the entire space. And it looks like it is. Let's take a look. Yep, 
it looks like it's covering the entire space so that's good that's good to go i'm going to decrease my speed and i'm going to turn on uh lighting only okay so this is the lighting only and we built it with cpu now what we're going to do is build it with gpu so i'm going to go to my command prompt and if you don't know how to go there go to outlook log we're going to go to windows developer tools and then output log and we're going to type in force all ray tracing effects and we're going to put that to zero and you're going to see the scene just changed there as you can see there's not a lot of lighting in there but there's still you know a decent amount and we do have a post process right here looks like all right so press g to get out of here and then what we're going to do is go here and you're going to see the gui gpu light mass i'm going to turn off the denoise for now because that's really buggy i'm going to change this to 128 128 for the quality and you can crank that up if you want and i'm going to leave everything as is make sure we are in real time mode so make sure that's ticked off and now i'm going to go ahead and press i'm going to turn on my sensors first and then i'm going to build lighting and i'm going to show you my cpu as you can see it's only using about nine percent ten percent cpu but it's going to be using a lot more GPU. So if I come out of this, you're going to see everything in your scene are pretty much baking, kind of like the matrix. You see that green. Okay, that one's good. That one's good. And this is a pretty simple scene, in my opinion. But yeah, you can kind of see it going to work there. See the GPU loads at 45. It's not even using a lot. And the CPU is at 12. All right, so that's baking the lights. And now we're just going to wait for this. Okay, it looks like it finished in five minutes, the lighting, the building lighting. So it is faster than the CPU. And what I'm going to do now is turn off real time and I'm going to bake it once again for the non real time uh, lighting. It should be a lot faster than five minutes. So just wait for this and we're going to be able to see here in a second. Okay, there you go. It is built. Now we have real time off. And then we're going to do real time on. That's real time on. We're going to do real time off. Okay. Can't see the difference. So that's it, guys. You pretty much baking the lights using your graphics card instead of your CPU. That's, in my opinion, in my understanding, that's what GPU light mass is all about. And like I said earlier, it looks much different than if you were to bake it in CPU. So you would have to adjust some light settings here. That's that's pretty much the, the idea of it. It's just baking lights using your GPU instead of your CPU. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you guys later.